Pearl Harbor. So at 1.15, you're going to be boarding the uh, boat to take you over to the Arizona Memorial. And that's located over there to the far left. <coughs> and when you get there, there will probably be two lines. One's standby line, one's ticket line. Be in the ticket line. The ticket line is normally the one closer to the boat. Okay? And if you're really staying it still, it's normally the five minutes, you're probably going to be okay. So where you want to start, we're going to have about an hour before you go on the boat. So the museum over there in the corner, right below, the Memorial Boarding Area. That way you're going to find a lot of history about Pearl Harbor with Lennox and Pearl Harbor. There's a couple of films you can watch. Um, some artifacts from the past. Now. Navy did not wear dog ties, so we had no way of it. in it, identifying after months and months there was nothing left but bones. Later, the second wave, 167 more planes jumped skyward into the morning light. The attack force was on the brink of achieving the improbable surprise. The idea came from Admiral Isoroku Yamamoto. War between Japan and the United States seemed inevitable. Japan had little chance of winning, unless the U.S. fleet in Hawaii could be destroyed. For a year, Yamamoto and his staff worked on a secret plan. Knock out the fleet, cripple American air power, conquer the Southwest Pacific before the U.S. could recover. A huge task force had to sail undiscovered in radio silence for over 4,000 miles. Twelve days. Aircraft carriers would send out two waves of planes to strike in tandem with five midget submarines launched from large submarines stationed south of Oahu. It was a bold gamble. Oahu was the home of the American fleet, the strategic hub of the entire Pacific. The island was rich in targets, but the attack faced the formidable air power of Oahu's six airfields. Yet 350 planes now soared toward the island. So far, no one had come to stop them. Machine guns and cannons blazed. Negro American planes burst into flame. The attack struck air bases at Wheeler Field. Looking for a large big pound to spread out, flying less than 15 feet above the water. The ship was to be launched in 40 feet of water. On ship after ship, over 600 feet into the air, then a choking cloud of vapor, oil, and smoke, torpedoes ripped cold through the water. The battleships West Virginia and Oklahoma each took nine to die. Two more blasted California, another struck Nevada. Oklahoma listed shell of fire, smoke rose over 500 feet in the air. The heart of the city seems from hell. Wind goes from the landing ships and swims to full island, soaked with oil, and upon his work. Shot. The first way out of the ship. I gave her planes heading back for their cabin. The storm of his ship was satisfied. 23 dive bombers swarmed to attack her. At the flag direct case, the badly damaged ship was purposefully run aground to keep the enemy.
their lives.
That looks pretty loose, dude. Good stuff, right? It's like grape juice, isn't it? Maybe sweeter than grape juice. It's good, though. It's the spot for sure on this warm, day, tropical day in Hawaii or in Pearl Harbor, that is.